Hello, welcome to our uh, financial update. Uh, we had uh, promised that every so often we would have a financial update to share a little bit with you about how things are going in the life and ministry of the church and how things are going with our finances. And so uh, we want to be faithful to that. I'm here today with our finance chair, Rich Headley, who has graciously agreed to be with us. And I'm just going to ask him some questions and he's going to talk a little bit about some variety varieties of things that are going on uh, in terms of the finances of our church. Uh, Rich is always available if you have questions about uh, our finances. If you want to look at the budget, if you want to see every item of it, uh, it's always available for you to look at. Uh, we can, we'll, we'll email it to you. You can come by the office. We'll be glad to print it for you, but um, we want to make sure you stay informed. And so um, just a, a few questions, Rich, I'm going to ask you um, today. Uh, the last time we were together, I think, was probably in September. And so right. a lot has happened since then. We've done our budgeting process, we've done our capital campaign, or not capital campaign, we've done our, our campaign for uh, the annual campaign for stewardship for the, the pledges. Um, often we like to call them estimates of giving um, that people have done. And then we've done our 2023 budget. So we've we've done a lot of stuff, and but we're, we're gonna just sort of catch everybody up on that. So the first, the question I have is, is maybe since we, we did the budgeting back in the fall and winter, can you just remind everybody a little bit about how our budgeting process works in the church? Sure. Um, as I think I've explained in the past and at the meeting in September, the budgeting process, it's very important for our members to fill out those estimates of giving because the estimates of giving give us a baseline of what we believe is going to come into the church uh, for our, all of our ministries. And I definitely want to thank everybody that does fill out those estimates of giving um, it's a, it makes the finance committee's job and the church council's job a lot easier when those uh, estimates of giving are filled out. Um, and I want to encourage those that maybe are hesitant to fill those out, to fill them out. Um, you know, we don't necessarily hold people to them, but it, it allows us to know what we believe family members are going to provide to the church over the course of the year. Right. So thank you for all those that have filled those out. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, along with those estimates of giving, uh, we also receive budget requests from our ministry leaders. Um, and we look through those budget requests. Uh, we make sure that they're reasonable as compared to what has been spent in the past on, on uh, those ministries. Um, and a combination of the estimates of giving and those budget requests uh, and an estimate of what we think may come in above and beyond those estimates of giving is how we come up with our, our budget on a year-to-year -year basis. Um, hopefully that answers your question. I think so. So say somebody is new to the church and they haven't done an estimate of giving. Um, do we only do estimates of giving um, like in the, during the campaign in the fall or are people able to do that anytime? People are able to do that at any time. Um, you know, people can come in. If, if there's new members that come in, they can fill out an estimate of giving as soon as they come in. Uh, if um, existing members uh, were hesitant to do it before sure. and, and want to do it now, please, please uh, feel free to, to fill those out. Um, but certainly, you know, we're going to be going through that process again here yes. in a few months. Yeah. Uh, so um, I encourage people to do that when that process uh, comes about again. Great. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, so the, the, let's talk about the campaign uh, that we do. Our stewardship campaign usually happens in the fall. Um, let's talk about how did, how did that campaign go this year? Um, how did it compare to the last year? And, and then kind of how did... How did 2022 end up? How did we end up doing with the budget? And talk a little bit about that. Okay, yeah. Um, 2023 estimated giving was is very similar to how our 2022 estimated giving uh, came to be. Uh, I don't have the exact numbers, but it, it was within a couple thousand dollars of what um, 2022 was. So 2023 was very similar, and we thank all of our members uh, for their contributions. Um, very appreciative of what they've done uh, for the church. Um, I think if, if you remember back in August or back in September when the meeting was, we had numbers through August. Um, we were behind budget by about seventeen thousand um, dollars, and we were hoping that we would make up uh, all of that 
uh, within the next four months, September through the end of the year, December 20, 2022. Um, that didn't materialize. Um, we did collect about $275,000 for that whole four months, which is a great. Um, again, thank you very much to the congregation for all of their contributions. Um, I, you know, on behalf of the finance committee and the ministry leaders, I'm sure that they're very grateful for those contributions. Um, we ended up a uh, total contributions for the entire year of about $734,000 approximately. Uh, our budget for 2022 was $772,000. So we did have a shortfall of close to $40,000. Um, but again, we still thank everybody for what they were able to give during the 2022 season. Um, and, you know, part of the budgeting process for 2023 um, relates to how we did in 2022. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if that's your next question or not, but uh, did I answer? I think so. So we'll just before we get to that, just one question. So, so we were short in 2022. Uh, how did that match up with? So were we were like? Did that mean we went into the year uh, with not enough money, or, or how did how does that carry over from your year for folks who might so, wonder about how that works? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. So we always have a cash balance that that carries forward each and okay. every year. Um, so thankfully we had a, a great cash balance. Um, at the end of 2022, we had a cash balance of about $403,000. Uh, that includes operating fund cash balance and restricted fund cash balance. Um, so I, I believe our restricted fund was about 74,000 of that 403. So I believe our uh, operating fund was about 327 in that okay. in that vicinity. Um, so we had a very good cash balance um, moving into that uh, into 2023. Um, so even though we were short um, on our contributions coming in, our ministry leaders, um, you and Tricia and Jessica, all of our ministry leaders, Aaron. Um, we're very good stewards of that money, okay? So most of that money, most of the, our expenses were below what we had budgeted for, good. okay? Yeah. So it, the sting of not making the, the contribution budget was not as great because we I kept see. expenses low. Okay, that, that's helpful, that's good. Well, okay, so that's good. So yeah, so talk about our 2023 process. Usually, usually we get a budget approved you know, we hope for January or sometimes it's early February, it just depends on when we can have the meeting. And really the reason for that is because we really like to wait until the end of the year, I guess, to see what the final is before we kind of finalize it. So talk about how we how we got there and then what, what is the budget? How's the what is the budget that we're working with for twenty twenty three? Yeah, as you said, we we like to wait at least until the January meeting uh, of the finance committee. Uh, just because we, we're still collecting estimate of giving mm -hmm. uh, cards uh, through January and in, even into February sometimes. So we're continually updating that process um, so that we can get um, a good, accurate budget number. Um, and of course, knowing that the $772,000 number we didn't meet in 2022, mm -hmm. um, we were always thinking... Um, in January that we would probably be somewhere lower than the mm -hmm. $772,000. Uh, and since, since I alluded to earlier that estimates of giving were very similar to what estimates of giving were in, in uh, 2022, and our actual contributions that came in were about $734,000, we knew that the budget would be somewhere between that $734,000 and the 772. And um, I, I want to just say that the church council did approve a budget of about $751,000. So that is the budget that we're working on uh, for 2023. Mm -hmm. So the hope is, is that between what people gave in estimates and what we got last year, that hopefully 
we will we'll sort of stretch it and make it further, knowing sure. that, that ministry continues, that, um, you know, we know that we're still coming out of the pandemic and, and some other, you know, things and sort of in the air, um, but we, we feel we have some confidence. So that's something for, good for people to know Absolutely. Um, for that um, kind of going forward. And so, so how are we doing? We're, we're here, uh, it's June now. And, um, and so we're, we're kind of partway through the year. How are contributions so far? How are we doing over and against the budget um, just at this point in the year? So, yeah, um, just so everybody knows that we have a budget for each month, okay? And the entire budget is $751,000 for the entire year. But a lot of that budget is weighted toward the back end of the year because a lot of people like to wait till November, December sure, sure. to make their contributions. Um, so that being said, as of, you know, we're in June right now, uh, we have numbers through 531, uh, and I have to kind of look down at my paper here because I don't have them all memorized. Um, as of 531.23, we have contributions totaling about $327,000. And we had budgeted three hundred and four thousand wow. dollars through that same period, so we're ahead of budget by about okay. twenty-two thousand yeah. dollars. So that's great. Thank you very much again. Um, I'm saying thank you a lot. No, but that's but I really. Can't, I don't think we can say that. You know? <laughs> I, I mean, don't think, yeah. So exactly. and, and often, you know, it's great to have that position going into the summer um, because we know summer can be kind of a leaner time. Folks are on vacation. Folks are in and out. You know, uh, and so. Um, we, we know that, and so that's a good place for us to be. Um, you know, of course, we know when we're going in the summer, one important thing to do is we encourage you to try to make sure folks to remember we, we're grateful that you remember us during the summer. Even when you're out of town, there's lots of ways to give. You can mail it in. You can give online. If you want to know more about giving online, you can do that. But there's there's lots of ways to maintain that Absolutely. commitment, even when you're even when you're somewhere else. And so, and we're thankful for that. More and more people are taking advantage of that um, each year, and so we're really thankful for that. But that's great. That's great news. And I, I want to say that thank you too um, for folks and the way you've been faithful up until this point, because that's awesome. That's great news to go go into the summer ahead of the budget. And I personally give online, so yeah, online giving too. makes it very convenient um, for folks that particularly if they can't make it to church right any I'm, given day. that's the first thing I do is when, when I get paid I you know sometimes I even like I'll wake up in the morning and I, that'll be I'll you know I'll look okay I got paid and then I'll just go right over to the online thing and I do my gift and for me there's ways to set up recurring ones but for me I like to know when I'm doing it and so I just that's that's and that's the great habit to be in so it really does make it easier because you know um, and especially for me I'm running around on Sunday morning. And so remembering that is one last thing to remember and you just get it done and it's just great to do. So. Well, I have mine set up on recurring because sometimes my memory <laughs> fails me. Right, so. right. So also, <laughs> also it, either, way, either way works. And so, and we're always glad to help uh, talk more about that. So um, thank you so much for your time and for answering some questions. I do have one last question. You know, um, we've talked a lot about where we are. We've talked about how thankful we are people are giving. Just for just a minute, just talk about what, what are some things, you know, when, when people give these gifts, what are they supporting? What is it when they, when they give a gift to First United Methodist Church, what are the kind of things in your mind that they're supporting by their gift? In my mind, they're supporting our ministry leaders, such as yourself. Um, they're supporting people in the community because you have a, a pastor's discretionary fund sure, that's true, that yeah. you can use to support people throughout yeah. the whole community. Um, so contributions that come in for the pastor's discretionary fund are you're able to yeah. use. They're supporting Trisha with the children, mm -hmm. the children's choir, uh, the children's message. Children, you know, all, all of Sunday school is being supported. Um, you're supporting Jessica and the youth um, all the time. Um, reality check. My wife is heavily involved yeah. in reality check and she enjoys it immensely um, with Jessica. Uh, and it's great for the kids. Uh, it's great for the youth. Um, yeah, and you have and you have a, a, a youth who's graduating this year. That's uh, right. You know, so my, my son awesome. Evan is yeah. graduating this year, yeah. so it's great. Um, you know, and one of the most personal things for me also deals with my wife and my two boys, uh, Ryan and Evan uh, and Tina. Uh, they've all been in the Genesis Praise Band. Uh, Tina is still in the Praise Band. 
um, Evan and Ryan. Ryan is in college now, so he's kind of, yeah. he'll occasionally come back and play yeah. uh, when he's back in town. Um, but, you know, the, that, the praise band, uh, worship, anything that this church does, the facility here, the church, yeah. a major expense, and many of your contributions go to helping to maintain this facility. Yeah. So uh, awesome. we thank you again for your contributions to this church, um, uh, and we're very appreciative of them. And I, I speak for the finance committee and the ministry leaders when I say that I believe yeah, I mean, it was great on, and you know, on Sunday we had the combined service, and so it was really great to see all of that together. We have the choir was here, and Aaron was playing the organ, um, but we had the band in here too, and so we, we, you know, we were all together. We were, you know, we welcomed, um, I think it was 14 confirmands mm -hmm. um, in the life of the church. Your contributions support that, right? That, I mean, that, that process of, 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 of bringing them into the church and, and leading them into membership, membership that's all, all happens because of, um, of your contributions. And then, of course, in July, we've got Vacation Bible School coming up. You know, yeah. last year, I think we had over 90 kids there. And so, you know, there's, there's just a lot to be thankful for. And, and I want to echo Rich and say how thankful we are uh, for your supporting contributions. Rich, I want to say thank you to you. Being finance chair is, is a lot of work. And so the finance committee does a lot of important work in our church. A lot of people don't see. And so we want to thank you for that as well. Um, you may have seen in our newsletter uh, last week some information about some property updates that are coming. Um, and one of the things we promised in there, um, that there would be a video uh, update that we would do uh, with Ben Crew, our property chair. And so uh, that'll sort of be part two of this. This is, if you want to think about this as part one of the finance update, and then part two will be the property update. That video will be coming soon. So we hope that you'll tune in for that. So Rich, thanks again for being here. We appreciate what you Thank do. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.